Hey there, everybody. Um, welcome back to uh, some math stuff. Uh, I want to talk to you um, about the perimeter and area. I know some of you are getting it, and these might even be not that difficult. Um, but I wanted to just remind everybody uh, how to do these. Some of these look a little different than we've done before. So on problems like this one, where there's an odd shape with the dots, what you need to do is count the, I can find the right tool here. Um, the squares are the area. So if you can make squares and count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. The area is six squares. Okay, perimeter, I'll use a different color. We just want to count the outside edges. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. A little coffee here. Um, the next thing. A couple people had questions about these type of shapes, and these are harder. Um, we've talked about a little bit, I think, at school. What you need to do is make the shape into two rectangles. Okay, you can do it that way, or you can do it this way. Okay, it doesn't matter which way. I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, now you want to find the area of this rectangle okay so it's three times seven which is 21 and the area of the bottom rectangle two times seven is 14 and then we add them together which is 35, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. The perimeter is a little easier. There's just more numbers. Add all of the numbers together. Eight, 12, 14, 21, 28. Okay, hopefully that will help you today as you're doing some perimeter and area problems. Give me a call, email me, um, we can video chat um, if you need help, and I can give you some tips or help you solve these problems. See ya.